Question 24. The following figure, OABC is a trapezium, OA is parallel to CB, and OA is equals to 3CB. M is the midpoint of AB. At A, the question, given that OA is equals to 3A and OC is equals to C, express in terms of A and C, 1, AC. So study the diagram, supposed to get AC. So AC will be given by, uh, from A, from A, to O, then from O to C. That is how we get AC from A to O plus O to C. AO, you're moving in the opposite direction of the arrow from A to O, so that will be negative 3A plus OC AC. Or you can write it like C minus 3a that is the first part part two a b a b so you want to move from a to b so a to b you'll move from a the easier route from a to c so you move from a to c then from c to b AC, we already found that in part 1. So AC is C minus 3A. Then CB. Don't have CB, but you can get it from here. OA is equals to 3CB. And OA is 3A is equals to 3CB. So therefore, CB will be A. You divide both sides by 3. So this one will be A. So CB is A. So work out this. This will give C minus 3A plus minus 3A plus A will give minus 2A. Part 3, OM. OM. So you want to move from O to M. The easier route will be to move from O to A. O to A, then from A to M, from A to M. OA is given as 3A. AM, I remember we given that M is the midpoint of AB. So if that is the midpoint, then it divides AB in the ratio 1 is to 1. So therefore, AM is a half a b this will be a half a b so therefore we have three a plus a half a b is already here in part two as c minus two a so this will give three a plus a half c in the brackets minus a half times 2a will give a like that so when you work out this you'll get 3a a half a 3a i'm sorry when you work out that you'll get 3a minus a you'll get 2a plus a half c so that is how you get OM. Let's go to part B. Part B, lines AC and OM intersect at X. As you can see there. Such that OX is equals to H, OM, and AX is equals to K, AC, where H and K are scalars. Determine the values of H and K. So in order to get the values of H and K, must come with two simultaneous equations. And in those simultaneous equations, you are going to involve these vectors 
one equation to have OX and the other equation to have AX. Have two equations. So let's get the first equation. Before we do that, we need to know what we are going to express in two ways. Looking at these vectors given OX and AX, we can use those two vectors to express one vector in two different ways. And the vector that we can express in two different ways using uh, these vectors given here, OX and AX, is OX. So you have to express OX in two ways. And the first way, you're going to use whatever we have there. OX is equals to H or M. That is the first way. Then the second way, the second way of expressing OX and ensuring that you use uh, AX, just look at the diagram here. So you can use that root OA plus AX to ensure that you use AX, use that root. So OA, if you want to get to express OX and at the same time, use ax you're going to say ox is equals to from o to a then from a to x so you can see i've used ax so these are the two vectors that you need and uh, this one will give you two equations that you're going to solve simultaneously so the first one ox is equals to h o m we already obtained o m in part three above which is here, 2a plus a half c. And this will give, when you open the brackets, 2 ha plus a half hc. That is the first equation, the first expression of ox. The second one, is here OX is equals to OA, OA, and OA is given as uh, 3A. Plus AX, AX is here given by KAC. You're given that in the statement KAC. KAC. Now we have AC. We have AC in A part 1. A part 1 is here. C minus 3A. C minus 3A. In the brackets, you get 3A plus KC minus 3KA. Like that. Now you have two expressions of OX. The two expressions are showing the same thing. So, if they are both expressing OX, you can equate them. So, quit the two of them. So, you have the first one, which is 2HA plus a half HC. That is OX, which is equivalent to the other OX, which is 3A. Plus KC minus 3 KA. So this is OX. And this one is OX. So from there, uh, pick the terms having vector A and equate them. So this one, this one, and this one. Pick them. So 2HA is equivalent to. 3a, they're having vector a, minus 3ka, like that. Then from there, something is common in all these terms. a is common. Divide every term by a. Here you shall have 2h. Here you shall have 3. And here you shall have 3k. So keep that equation aside. Then the other thing you're going to do, pick the terms with vector c 
vector c so you have a half hc is equals to kc divide each term by c you'll get a half h is equals to k and when you multiply both sides to get rid of this denominator 2 multiply each side by 2 you get h is equals to 2k that is another equation so having that those two equations you have uh, this equation and you have this you can solve that simultaneously i will substitution uh, so i want you to have a look at this what we have here 2h 2h but what is h h is 2k so substitute h with 2k like that is equals to 3 minus 3k so this will give 4k is equals to 3 minus 3k and this one will give uh, bring the like terms together you'll have 7k is equals to 3 and here k is equals to 3 over 7 then remember what was h h is equals to 2k so h is equals to 2 k is 3 over 7 so just substitute and h will give 6 over 7 so you have already found the values of h and k